Hello and welcome to some more RV fun. I'm Ross and in this video I'm going to show you how to make rails for your bunkhouse hair. So as you can see I already got them built and in this video I'm going to kind of show you really quick how I went about doing this but I'm going to explain it a little more. So these two rails are for the Jayco 32 BHDS and in the bunkhouse there's actually two different types of beds. So the one is actually a fold down bed um, that's above a couch and then the other side has the area for the TV some vanities and then there's also a ladder So that's actually where this small one comes into play for this one I had to go smaller. So this is only 33 inches uh, wide But what I did consistently on both of them is I made sure I went six over six inches over and three inches down for each of my holes So there is a consistent look to them um, but when doing the smaller set the reason I did that is because on this side of it over here there's actually a wall and then when you come over to this side, there's a ladder right here. So amazingly enough, if you don't belong to Facebook groups, get on the Facebook groups for the different type of camper that you own. There's so many people that are willing to help. And what I did, because we don't actually have the camper yet, is I went on there and I said, hey, can somebody actually measure out the bunkhouse for me? Uh, because I need to know how wide I need to make this. And within an hour, somebody actually used their tape, took a picture and measured two different areas for me, which was amazing. So if you're not using Facebook, highly recommend that. So I ended up making this one 33 inches just to fit that space. That way the ladder right here, my daughter can climb up and get right in. For this one, which is gonna be on the other side, this is a full bunk. There's no ladder with it. That's something else I'm gonna build. Um, but this is a 70 inch bed. So for this one, I only made it 45, so I give extra room on this side for them, my daughter, my son, whoever it is that ends up using that bunk in the long run to climb up and down. Now, the other thing that I did when making these bunkhouse was I went to Home Depot, ended up buying these L brackets because I thought this is what I was gonna use originally. So I actually took these, they were stainless steel, and um, I ended up painting them black, which I immediately regretted because I realized I couldn't use them, and now I can't take them back, so I'm stuck with four L brackets. The reason I can't use that is because this longer bunkhouse in ours, and many of these bunkhouses are like this, when you go to put the bed up, because there's a couch underneath, this would slam into the ceiling and most likely mark it up or put a hole in it. So I didn't wanna have this be something that I couldn't put on there because it's stationary. So I ended up changing my mind about that, and I went with these brackets here that are actually, I have no idea what they're called because I'm not a very technical person, um, but these things actually fold up and down. So you can see here, I can fold this down. And the reason for doing this is now when I put this under the bed, if we're not in using it, I just fold this down and then I put the bed right on top of it. So it's hidden. And then when it stands up, it's there. Now you might say, well, it's going to fall forward there and the brackets flat, but the way that our bunk system is actually set up, the mattress is going to sit underneath this. So that's why there's that gap. I wanted it raised up a little bit. And then I'm just going to drill those in and in the front of our mattress, we actually have a little lip that goes down in front. So if this was the board, mattress is here, there is a little lip here that's gonna catch this. And if I have any issues with that, I'll just put a little stopper right here um, on the actual wood piece underneath the bed system. The next part of this video is gonna be you actually seeing me do this in very, very fast stop motion time. But you can see what I ended up doing was this is an eight foot board that I bought for both of these pieces. And if you look close at this board, it's actually siding or a piece of floorboard. I'm not exactly sure what they were selling this is, but it's a tongue and groove. And I really liked it because I like this finish here. I like this. I like the knots in the wood. I thought about painting it, but I decided not to just because I don't want to regret having paint or not matching exactly. So I left it wood. I like the look of the wood and the stainless steel together. So that's what I did this. But if you look here in this video part, roll the B-roll. In this video part here, you can see that I took that eight foot board I cut it in half, I took all my measurements, and then what I did is I ended up spending a lot of extra time actually going in and measuring out the six inches over, three inches down. And what's interesting too is when I put these bolts in, because I only did nuts and bolts here, you can see the back of it here. This is what the back looks like. Um, once I put this top bolt in, this was uh, secured into place, and so I just took my leveler and I put it on top here, and I made sure that this was level with both of the feet down, you can see right there, I got level in the middle. I put both of the feet down and then I ended up screwing in the second one. So I did my top one first on both sides and then I leveled it and then I just dropped my two screw holes in the bottom and put them in there with some nuts and bolts. So it was super, super easy to do. And I'm only about maybe 50, $55 in total. And that might be with my mistake of buying the extra L brackets. 
Um, but when you're looking at bunk rails online, you're going to be spending way more than that. And they're not going to be the size that you need, especially if you have a bunk house where you have that option where you have to consider the ladder that's already placed in the bunk house. So this is a super easy thing to do. Um, and this is just one of many how to's if you've, well, you've probably never seen other channels that my wife and I have, but we do how to's. We do not spend time trying to go online and shop for things. So if you like this video, we're going to be doing a ton of these. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Um, it helps you. It helps us. There's a lot more videos to come on this RV stuff that we're doing. This is a new life we're getting into, so we're very excited about it. I want to thank you for watching this, and uh, I'll see you next time.